Hey, Divine Masculine, welcome. So let's see what message is significant for you. Ooh, we have Blue Moon. So now's a powerful time to set long-term goals. And I'm hearing sirens. This is a sacred synchronicity here. All right. So hello, ring the alarm. Pay attention, my dear. Now is a powerful time to set long-term goals and sow seeds for the future, my dear. Okay. We have Moon in Gemini. Stress may be an issue during this time, okay? So, you know, focus on um, positive ways to deal with that. You can't necessarily escape it in life tot totally, but you can find healthy ways to combat it or, you know, cope with it. A keyword, healthy ways, all right? Productive ways. So we also have Moon in Capricorn. Put aside emotional concerns and focus on achieving or increasing financial security, okay? Now, um, let's see. What is the wisdom of the room's message for you at this time? What is your wisdom room message? Divine masculine here. We have earth, all right? Inguas and earth. Okay, can you see that? Let's see if we can get this a little off for you. All right, yeah, we should be able to see that. So, isn't it funny here? Because uh, she's planting seeds in here, right? And in the different uh, monology oracle here, right? It, the first card that came out for you is Blue Moon. If you do your research on a Blue Moon, this is something very powerful, something, you know, that uh, it cannot, it may have not been possible for, but it is possible for you now. Uh, even a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, a big opportunity, you know, believing in the impossible, something rare that comes around once in a Blue Moon, but very powerful, all right? Remember, your opening message was, now is a powerful time to set long-term goals and sow seeds for the future. And look, the wisdom room message for you, in this image, you see she's planting seeds, earth, right? And you know, with the moon in Capricorn, it also said about, you know, set aside, setting aside those emotional concerns and focus on achieving and increasing your financial security. So, sowing those seeds for your pentacles, right? All right? Yes. And um, it can be stressful. Um, oh, shit. It can be stressful. Uh, you know, oopsie daisy. Excuse my language. I had to wait to say that. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, just know that. All right? But. Don't let that hold you back. Don't let it stop you. Yeah. So let's see where it is. Here we are. All right. So, yeah. So the, the theme for this message here, this room message is potential, new beginnings, fertility, and growth. All right. So ingua symbolizes fertility and sexuality. The appearance of inguas can signal the start of a phase of life where it feels like lush and exciting things are suddenly just happening. Yeah? Yeah. So, there might be a challenging new job opportunity, a thrilling and passionate relationship, or a period of creativity and productivity where great ideas seem to crackle in the air around you. Inguas is also about new beginnings and stepping into your full potential. Right now, you may be shedding an old skin and a new and improved version of you is emerging. Yes, this can feel exhilarating but a bit scary at the same time. You may worry that you won't be able to handle a new opportunity or that you'll regret making a big move. But this is a time for bold and courageous action, even in, even if the new beginning is an unknown area. Inguaz is a sign to let go of old patterns, behaviors, people, or things to make room for new experiences. 
what you'll gain in the future will more than make up for what you're leaving behind, okay? Don't let fear of success hold you back either, okay? So Inkwise deeply believes that it's time to let your light shine, my dear. All right, so let's close up with some Moonology messages here for you. All right, all right. All right, so we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. All right. A time for healing, balsamic moon. Your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. Surrender to the divine, full moon. Angel number 611 is very significant for some of you guys here. We also have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, all right? A new star is coming, new moon, all right? The answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. And in this moonology deck, we had moon in Gemini, stress may be an issue during this time. So whatever you haven't stressed around at this time, there's some answers that you need that are coming, all right? Double confirmation there. All right, so this is a time. Uh, this is a time to give rather than to take. New Moon and Virgo, you have to give to yourself. All right, don't not don't just uh, allow people to take, 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 and you're not giving to yourself. This is a time to give to yourself, my dear. Nurture yourself. Emotions are running high. All right, Super Moon. At the bottom of the deck, we have bring love into the situation. New Moon and Aquarius. And that starts with pouring love into yourself. So you have to pour into your well. You, uh, you know, you, 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 you have to pour into you, baby. This is time to pour into you. All right, love you and all of you, and like, really be about it. You know, uh, self love can be used pretty cliche these days. You know, but it's really a job. All right, so make it your job to love you and take care of yourself. All right, you're going to see magnificent results. Be bold and courageous about this new beginning because there's a lot of prosperous productivity and, you know, newness that's here for you, okay? Peace and prosperity to you. Ashe.